This video will show you how to set up your LifeSign plugin inside of QLab. You may need to have a license for audio in order for this to work or be running in demo mode. So please contact QLab for more information on that side of things. So we have QLab open. Let's create a new workspace. Click on the gear, the little settings option in the bottom right corner. We're gonna click on audio in the left column here. And we have multiple devices connected to this computer. So in audio patch one, I'm gonna select my Play Audio 12. And then I'm gonna click edit patch to the right of that dropdown. You can see that we're editing the Play Audio 12. You can also give it a alternative name inside of here. But let's go to the device outputs. Now with the Play Audio 12, in order to arm the automatic failover, we will want to send a constant tone or the lifetime sign plugin, which is a constant tone to audio channel 13. So we're gonna scroll down here in this menu and find output number 13. There's an option here for add effect, the drop down, and then we're gonna to go to eye connectivity and life sign. Now, as soon as we open that up, you should see the scene light on the front of your Play Audio 12 start blinking. And if I open Oracle X, you can see there's a green box here that says armed, which means that the tone is successfully already going to audio channel 13 as soon as we opened that plugin, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Uh, you can edit the parameters inside of LifeSign, but uh, you can look at our other video on how to install and use LifeSign for that information. And that's all we need to do inside of QLab. So everything's set up now. We don't have to do anything inside the actual workspace. We just did it in the settings. And once you set it up in the settings, it is ready to go. And if we close the workspace, you'll notice that this arm button will actually fail over. So you can see that it's successfully working inside of this workspace without any cues needing to be loaded up. So we're gonna click don't save and you can see that it failed over. So it's successfully working there. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact us at connectivity support.